Let's test some waterproof makeup from the drugstore. Most everything here is affordable. I'm excited. We're gonna jump into the pool and see how this waterproof makeup looks, how it lasts, how it feels. Let's do it. I'm really excited. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm mostly excited. Let's begin. Okay, for eyeshadows, we're gonna do REM by Ariana Grande. I think a lot of her stuff, it's kind of right in between drugstore and um, expensive, like prograde. So each of these eyeshadows, they're 16 US dollars. And I figured that's pretty good for a liquid eyeshadow, especially for the amount that you get and if they perform. I already played with these products, these formulas. I already like them a lot, but I've never tested if they're waterproof. Let's start with this one. This is their, their liquid eyeshadow and this is their matte version. It's gonna be kind of like my eye base and my eyeshadow as well. So for eyeliner, we have this one by L'Oreal. Their Infallible Flash Cat Eye Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, $10.99. So you slide it out, you place it like so to help create your perfect wing. Let's try it. Wow, I did a horrible job on this side. <laughs> Let's redo that. Horrible job. Okay, I'm just gonna fill this in. Okay, I think this eyeliner is insane. It's super, super black. You can really control the tip. You can also make it really thick, very thin. You can actually use a tip to draw in the inner corner. I'm going to fix the inner corner once I do the concealer, but I'm gonna con I'm gonna use a little bit more of the REM liquid eyeshadows, but in metallic, these two shades right here. I have a uh, lab coat, which is this one and then Comet, which is this gold one, and I just have a little bit more of the matte version just in case if I had to clean up. I'm gonna start first with uh, Lap Coat, which is this one right here. I have an idea in my mind, but we'll see how this is going to actually look. So for foundation, we have this one by Maybelline. This is their super active, super stay active wear up to 30 hour foundation. So it doesn't, and you, it doesn't say it's completely waterproof. It does say that it does defy water. So it's kind of like water resistant slash waterproof. It's $12.99. I have two shades. So classic ivory and natural ivory. I'm going to apply using a dampened sponge just because I want it to look a little bit more natural instead of um, heavier and caked on. It's definitely full coverage. It has a natural matte finish. Okay, so for brows, there wasn't a specific waterproof eyebrow gel or like a lamination product to kind of create your shape and then set your brows in place. So I'm gonna start first with the NYX, the brow glue, kind of create my, create my shape and then go in with the Revlon, their Colorstay Brow Creator in soft brown. And this one did claim to be waterproof. And then on top of that, to really seal everything in place, the L'Oreal, the Unbeliever Brow Long Wear Top Coat. Waterproof, smudge resistant, and transfer proof up to 30 hours, which is really intriguing. So for concealer, we have the Juvia's Place, and this right here is the I Am Magic Concealer. 14 US dollars each, and I picked up two shades just because um, swatching, on the back of the hand is very different than actually applying it to my face. So this right here, it is their weightless full coverage concealer formulated to be the best full coverage concealer, great for all skin types and skin tones. And then when you go under details, it says sweat proof and waterproof. I don't know how much I need or if I should be working one eye at a time, but we're gonna take the sponge and work this in. That looks like a good color. Wait, that blended out really nice. Hold on. That's pretty. It's a very, very pigmented type of concealer, but the texture and the consistency, it's pretty lightweight. I think it has uh, maybe self-setting properties, even though it doesn't say that, but because it's waterproof, 
that feels really nice. Just bring the eyeliner just a little bit in the inner corner. For mascara, I'm gonna use the number seven, their Stay Perfect Long Lasting Volume Mascara. It has waterproof, but it's also a tubular formula. So very easy to take off at the end of the night. I really like this mascara. The only thing I've never tested if it's waterproof. So I'm really, really excited. It's supposed to be tear proof, rain proof, and life proof, 24 hour formula. It has a nice little skinny wand with rubber silicone bristles. What it does best is just coat your lashes and give you nice black long lashes. It doesn't really give you volume in my opinion. Okay, so for blush, I actually had a really hard time finding in my own collection a waterproof formula, but I did find one by Morphe. This is their Blush Balm Soft Focus Cream Blush, 12 US dollars each. And I picked up two shades that were available at my local Ulta. And this does claim to be a high performing formula. Buildable, blendable, sweat proof, and a waterproof color. That sounds great. That sounds amazing. All right, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. buffing foundation brush. They said it's a sheer to buildable formula. So let's begin building this up because it looks pretty, it looks pretty intimidating in the pan. It's blending out really nice though. For bronzer, the L'Oreal Infallible, the fresh 24 hour bronzer. And right there, it says waterproof right on the packaging. $15.99 and this right here is my current love for a nice powder bronzer from the drugstore. I'm just gonna gently start swirling this onto my cheeks and warming up my cheeks and my face. For a lip liner, we have this by Essence. This is their Stay 8 Hour Waterproof Lip Liner. $3.99. I have shade number one, Curious. And I think I wanna mix it with this right here. I've never tried this product before by NYX. I think it's a new product. It's their Shine Loud Vegan High Shine Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick with a gloss on the other end, maybe to make it more comfortable. So I was thinking to outline my lips with this and then use this kind of as the color. This is how the lip liner looks filled all the way in. It's very pretty has a little bit of like a tacky texture, but it does kind of wear down and it wears down nicely and it's pretty comfortable, I would say, if you do wear it just on its own. But let's apply some of this right here. This right here, it's a zero color, transfer high shine lip color with up to 16 hours wear. It says that it's supposed to be transfer proof formula that leaves no bleeds or smudges for up to 16 hours without fading. You can kiss, drink, hair flip, and even wear it under your mask. So how do you apply this? You apply base, ooh, to bare lips. So I might need to actually wipe this color off. And then wait 90 seconds to dry, and then lock in your pigment with a glossy top coat. Just go over on top of it, why not? All right, so it's been at least five minutes and I waited for this to really dry down. It doesn't feel as wet anymore, but it is really tacky on the lips and it's feeling pretty dry. I am going to apply the glossy top coat or just the lip gloss. That feels so much better. You can see it's a little dry. It's like cracking underneath that product. Last but not least, we have a setting spray. This is by Essence, their Fix and Last 18 Hour Makeup Fixing Spray. Instant matte effect with waterproof formula, free from oil and alcohol. $4.99. Oh, it's like spitting on me. Oh my gosh. Literally one of the worst sprayers in the entire world. Looks like somebody spit all over my face. Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I took off the entire lip product and had to really scrub and use a cleansing balm and then a second time a cleansing balm to really take it off. So it's really on there. I just outlined a little bit right here and the Cupid's bow area and then used the NYX to fill in the entire lip without the, without the lip liner underneath, if that makes sense. So I used a little bit of the lip liner and then used this for all over my lips. And it did the same thing. It is so sticky and it starts to crack and peel right away. It looks like your lips are actually peeling, but it's the lip color that's peeling off. So top coat, in my opinion, is completely necessary. Without it, it is so uncomfortable and so unflattering. So 
I like how this looks with the lip liner and gives it a little bit of dimension, but my favorite thing about this face right now are the cheeks. I already know I love the bronzer, but this blush, it's actually really pretty, super easy to work with. It has a nice pop of color, but it doesn't look intense and it doesn't make any kind of texture on my cheeks stand out. It just kind of gives, like they said, a very soft airbrush finish, which I really like. But now the true test, let's go see if it's waterproof. It looks like it's supposed to rain. It's a very cloudy outside, but we're still gonna get in. We're gonna jump in several times. I'm excited. Let's go, babe. Let's see what it looks like. All right, let's do this. Nervous. Oh, yeah. yeah, mama going in the water. Huh? Okay, I gotta get into like the deeper end. All right, three, two, one. Ah, woo. Ah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pretend like it's a normal pool day and it's not raining. What would I do when I'd get out of the pool? I'd pat my face dry and like my hair, just kind of make sure I'm not soaking with water. Just gonna take my towel. Oh, whoa, there's like, besides a little bit right here, you can see lipstick and a little bit of the foundation. Make sure you get the ears. And I'm not being too rough, but you can see a little bit of foundation is transferring. Okay. So, so your your eyebrows are gone. Some of the eyeshadows are going. Let me see your eyeshadows. Still some on there, like in the inner corners are gone. Seriously? Yeah. How, is the, how are the eyelashes? So I think the foundation is uh, settled into fine lines. It was already settled into fine lines. <laughs> I mean, it's like exaggerated. How are the cheeks? I'm excited to see cheeks. Cheeks are still there. Popping? Yeah, but yeah. Eyebrows are complete. Yeah, I eyeliner, saw it eyeliner looks like it's still all there. Nice maybe, and sharp. Maybe a little bit. Um, so yeah. Nice. I'm gonna go change. Okay, this is what we're looking like after the pool. Three things, impressive. Eyeliner, cheeks. I still see the bronzer. I still see the blush, quite a bit of the blush actually. I feel like the blush didn't move at all and then the lips. Next thing that's somewhat good, I would say is the concealer. It's actually looking really, really nice. It's looking a little bit weird right here, but I think it's a mixture of the eyeshadow, the eyeliner and the concealer mixed right here in the inner corner where the eyeshadow actually came off in like patches on both sides. It looks pretty gnarly. With the REM, the metallic glitter formula, I'm not the biggest fan of it, especially if you have to layer it kind of does this weird scaly, I don't know, just it's very, it looks thick and it doesn't look very smooth and even and cohesive. I personally really like the matte formula so much more and you can see just, it looks really nice on the eyes where the, there's no glitter and it doesn't really come off either. And where the eyeliner is on top of the eyeshadow, it kind of came off where the eyeshadow came off. But the rest of the eyeliner actually looks really good. It's still pretty black, pretty intense. You still have the nice sharp wing, love it. The next thing that's um, somewhat okay is the foundation, but I'm feeling so tight and so dry and I can actually kind of feel the foundation cracking and separating right here around my mouth where it's really, really dry. But it actually looks really nice on the forehead. It looks really good on the cheeks but it looks really dry right here along the chin and the jaw and it doesn't look good at all. It's looking very uneven with the coverage and the wear. And then the least, the worst product I would say are the eyebrows. I think it's just a mixture of all of it. I didn't really know how this would work, but then even applying um, this top coat, this waterproof top coat on top of the brow pencil, I honestly think the brow pencil would have done better without the top coat because when I applied it on top, it kind of made it watery and it just made the formula kind of disappear. It was there, but it disappeared. It made it watery. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I do like this brow pencil, but 
It's not my favorite from the drugstore. I should have used the NYX pen. That one just stays on my brows all the time, but I wanted to try something new with a waterproof formula. You know which brows stay on forever? What? Wonder brow. Wonder brow. I think we did that how many years ago? When we still lived in Florida, we actually went to the ocean and we also did like a waterproof test. It was slightly different, but the wonder brow like that didn't go anywhere. Andre even chucked buckets of water on my face. Like literally, he took ocean water and threw it at my face. Do you remember that, babe? Yes. <laughs> the things we did when we had no kids. That was so much fun. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed with the way my skin is looking. I'm obsessed with the cheeks. I love the bronzer. I love the blush together. It's just so pretty. And I will say the mascara, the last thing, it's kind of like mediocre because it's not technically a full blown waterproof mascara, it's tubular. So you can see some of that mascara is actually coming off, but it looks pretty decent, honestly. All those products, I mean, they can survive a full and- That's a full face, yo. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm really impressed, but I do think this fix it it really kind of helped to lock everything in place. The applicator is horrendous, but I do like the setting spray. I'm gonna, I need to find a different applicator, a different, um, maybe I could find one on Amazon, like a smaller continuous setting, setting bottle or uh, spray bottle. All right guys, thank you for joining me, dumping my face in the water, and we'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.